Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? How you doing? Thank you very, very much for tuning in. Another motivational video, poetic words. And of course, guys, I just want to say thank you very, very much for tuning in and thank you for watching this video and listening this video. So anyway, guys, if in case you do not know me, well, I would like to introduce myself in a short introduction. I am a grandmother who is a content creator, social media influencer, who love YouTube community, and also I am a YouTuber. And I decided to have my own channel is because as a grandmother, I have been in different kind of situation and because of that I am um, actually trying to share to each and every one of you a motivational video to never give up no matter what is our situation it's very very important to inspire other people so that they too feel that they are not alone so anyway guys welcome welcome to USA live stream and of course don't forget to subscribe click notification bell and also don't forget to engage with me by leaving a related comment and then of course like and share my video and also I want to say thank you in advance so anyway God said trust the process maybe you will not understand what is going on but trust the process because God is in us. Trust God through suffering. The only times you get to know God and the only times you're going to focus on God, sometimes, not all the time, when we actually experience the saddest experience in our lifetime and sometimes we have no one to turn to and then this is the only way you can get close to God when you have nobody when you don't have no one around you and sometimes you lose hope sometimes you lose confidence and sometimes you just lost in thinking that oh my god I am by myself and once you realize that you feel alone and no one there for you this is when we gravitate to God and this is one of the reason that most people seeking God only when they hit rock bottom or when they feel that there's no one out there who can understand you or who can relate or who can resonate with your situation or no one is offering you help or even just uh, ear to lean on and this is why I come along as a grandmother trying to inspire to each and every one of you to never doubt God God is an amazing God he will never forsake you or leave you so trust God and sometimes when we go through so many changes in our lifetime do not feel that you're going to be stuck for the rest of your life because in reality God will restore everything that have lost in your life God will always try to restore everything you may not understand it because we do not understand but trust God and have faith in God and always pray so anyway I am going to read you this Bible verse Exodus 33 verses 14 the Lord said my presence will go with you and I will give you rest and it is true sometimes when we go through so many so many uh, problems so many situations sometimes we just couldn't handle it and sometimes we just have to take rest and when we do take a rest sometimes we think it is a depression in reality it's not a depression it is just about our body to actually give a breathing time because sometimes we worry so much we get exhausted and our body aches our mind actually is just out there and we're thinking we are in depression when we are not we just need to rest so anyway uh, Jonah 2 verses 2 in my distress I called to the Lord and he answered me 
From the depth of the grave, I called for help, and you listened to my cry. Guys, it doesn't matter if people dislike you. It doesn't matter if people don't want you to be part of their groups. It doesn't matter as long as you have God in you, as long as you have faith in God. At the end of the day, that is all important. Because in reality, even if you are in groups of groups of people, sometimes they too talk behind each other back. So it doesn't mean just because someone is in a group, they are happy. Sometimes they are miserable too. So do not feel sad that you are alone. And this is why I would like to inspire you. I would like to help you. I would like to give you an ear to say trust God trust God and sometimes we do not listen in our gut instinct and we think just because people are so happy we assume that they are indeed happy sometimes people are smiling and giggling and sometimes they are in group everybody just celebrating life but in reality they are so miserable so do not trust your eyes do not trust your ears but trust God because God actually is in you and that is why you sometimes think you are suffering when you are not you are not suffering you are not suffering at all this is just a chance an eye-opener for you to see all things in reality when you are young you don't see all the things that you are seeing now when you're adult when you become a mature person, you start seeing things that you never seen before. And sometimes you are surprised and sometimes you already know what it is. So anyway, another Bible verses, Isaiah 41 verses 10. Do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Guys everything is in the bible if you want to learn about life if you want guidance if you want inspirational everything is written by god and all you have to do just gravitate gravitate with god and trust god and have faith in god believe me guys i have been on planet earth for a long time and what i am seeing now i have seen it before but i never really took it seriously because i was thinking that maybe i need to learn more but in reality it is what it is guys we only live once and we would never come back on planet earth once we're gone so be happy stay happy and do not take everything seriously there are so much life ahead in you trusting god through suffering is the best thing that we can do because that is when we are getting to know with God you know what sometimes we forgot God not because we are so busy in our lives it's because there are so many things out there that entertain us but sometimes you just have to take a break and listen to God and listen God words if people do not recognize you that you are a great human being then let it be do not worry because God knows you and only God can judge you no one else so anyway the last one Ephesian 5 verses 8 you were once in darkness but now you are in light in the Lord live uh, as children of, la of light Isaiah 60 verses 19 the Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory and then moments of darkness in our lives may be caused by the fate or of death of a loved one the loss of a job or a home or another great tragedy of life yet there is a greater darkness than these tragedies the darkness in the eyes of one who has not felt god's love and grace and assurance of his hope there is hope for all of us there is light jesus christ the son of god is our hope and light in darkness psalms 28 verses 7 the lord is my strength and my shield my heart trust in him and i am helped so guys the only thing that i can tell you 
is that you are not alone almost everybody can relate and resonate that sometimes we have to go through suffering before we can even enjoy life and sometimes the suffering is not suffering it is a teaching moment and sometimes we interpret the things that are known to things that are familiar to us so rejoice enjoy life while you can and then sprinkle kindness wherever you go and always remember put God in the center of your heart and always remember God is with you God is in you and always remember to pray over if people dislike you it's okay that's no problem because they don't know you but once they get to know you they will start falling in love with you so how's that so anyway thank you for watching and of course I would like to remind each and everyone we are always using copyright disclaimer under fair use section 107 of the copyrights act 1976 for educational purposes and for inspiring everybody to do well and to be good to one another. Thank you guys. I'll see you later.